Joining us now is uh, the actor Josh Dumel. Stars in the Transformer series, The Pride of Minot, North Dakota. And yes, uh, got up early to come out here and hit a couple of balls on the range with us. So we appreciate that, Josh. I don't tee off till 11. And how That's you? That's how much I like you guys. And I love the hat. He's got a hat that says four on yeah, it. Yeah, very appropriate. How often do you say four during your uh, round yesterday? Well, you, it, it's important out here because there's people that are watching. They think and you're normally... good, by the way. Like the the gallery thinks the players, the celebrities are good, and they get really close. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they think I'm very good. I've well, killed. I've almost killed a few people here. <laughs> And that's no joke. Hence the hat. <laughs> Do you wear the Air Jordans on the court? You got your Air Jordans. No, there. I again, I thought we were doing radio, guys. <laughs> you always do this, Josh. Don't you understand? <laughs> there, there's cameras Last here. Time, I every, didn't know you were going to have all this. Every time you come in, you go, oh, that's right. It's, you like, had sweatpants like on it's, last it's, time. It's, it's, it's pebbled, but then I go, you know, it's, it's, it's the DP show, you know? Yeah, I got to expect you guys are going to do something big. So I figured every other year that I come to this, there's they have a little media a yeah. area, you know, I go do some radio. And then I drive past here this morning and I see the lights. I was like, oh, God, here we go again. <laughs> do you need hair and makeup? No, I'm good. You're good? I'm good. Okay. How do you get into the, the tournament? Like, how does a celebrity go about asking to get in here? So several years ago, I think this is my eighth time playing it now, I, I got asked to play with uh i think dockers asked me to come and play or something and came loved it had a great time they asked me back the next year and i just figure as long as i just keep kissing enough butt yeah i get i get asked back has fergie been here to pebble beach she comes she usually comes with me oh she didn't make this trip not this year she's working oh she was at the super bowl uh i stayed home with axel yeah and then i came here and she stayed home with him what are, you, what are you working on now? We just finished Transformers. Uh, I think I'm going to start uh, 10 episodes. Uh, well, I can't, it's not done yet, so I can't really <laughs> say if I'm going to do it. Uh, 10 episodes uh, is something. Yes, and then and then uh, I'm a movie right after that. And then hopefully, God willing, I'm going to be directing my first thing this summer. Wow. We've been writing. Spent two years. I talked about this with you at dinner. Yeah. I'm going to be coming to you. You're going to need my help? Yeah, I'm going to need your help. I'm probably going to need all these guys' help. I'll need all the help I can get. You're not very good at keeping secrets, are you? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Because when, whenever I have dinner with you, you always tell me something, and then you threaten to kill me if I tell anybody anything. Well, there's, I don't tell you any details. Well, yeah, when you were getting ready to have a baby. Oh. And you yelled at me. Like, That's you were right. so excited. We, when we, we were pregnant, weren't we, when I told you that? You were trying. We're trying to get pregnant. And you said, hey, we're trying. Yeah. And, and then it, and he, you said, if you tell anybody, I'll kill you. And I go, well... Well, that's not, like, it didn't sound like maybe, it was good news. Maybe I'm not very good about keeping secrets. <laughs> and then my son showed up. Unless I just really trust you with my, you know. That's when my son showed up, and he goes, I said, oh, Josh Dumais is an actor. And he goes, have, are, have you been in anything I've seen? <laughs> Remember, my son was such a smartass to you. How's he doing? Has he graduated yet? Yeah, he graduated. Did he? What's he? Where's he at now? Uh, New York, doing okay. advertising. Okay. Yeah, he's he's, he's doing well. <laughs> he's probably, Josh, he's probably going to be directing your next movie. <laughs> yes. I is, is that what he wants to do? No, no, no. I don't think he wants to get into that goofy business. Now, are He's you doing a smart. sports movie? No. You're not doing no, a sports movie. No, no, no. Movie. I did one. I did one called Space Man. You did Bill yes. Lee. But I thought you were working on... So what's... Am I allowed to say what the movie is that you talked about? To... Wait, okay, so the, the thing that I've been working on? Yeah. So it's based on this thing that we've been doing for the last 20 years, me and my buddies, called The Buddy Games. And the story is about... Uh, the last three years, these guys haven't done the games because there was a bad accident that happened three years ago, and the guys have kind of drifted. One of the guys lost one of his testicles, and you found out that he lost both of them. And it's been... It's sort of like... Think think the big chill. Is this when, a dark no, comedy? No, no, listen. It's like the big chill when they all come back together yeah. for the you know, funeral of one of their old friends. While they all sort of come back together to re reflect on one of their friend's balls... Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not really the story. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a hey, good just, one. But, yeah. But, but could you imagine somebody making a pitch like that? Like, 
and, and then having a, an, an executive say, all right, I'm going to green light that one. Yeah. <laughs> McLovin says we have to go to break. <laughs> what, that, that's totally the story. He's just pretending it's not the story. No. how we react. No, no, no. That, that's sort of the story. It's sort of the story. <laughs> ultimately, <laughs> ultimately, what happens is they come back. They get him back. They get him. They get him to come back because he's been in this dark hole for three years. So it's a and bro movie. It's a total bro movie. Yeah. What's the name of it? It's called The Buddy Games. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You'll you got, see. You got to get a Wahlberg in there, don't you? Like, I'll work on him this weekend. Well, you might, might not get Mark, though. Oh, one of them. Yeah. It doesn't a, matter. There's a whole lot yeah. of them. All right. Uh, we'll take a break. We'll continue with uh, Josh Dumel. My wife <laughs> my wife is here, and she wanted to know what time you were going to be on. She was going to stop over. And she is she here? Yeah, but she didn't care about the, sh you know, the show. So She's probably still sleeping, right? She asked what time you were going to be on. She didn't ask about anything else today. Okay. Nothing. I, so I don't know if she's going to come over here. So uh, we may do the uh, hot guy draft fallout. Remember when you didn't get drafted in the hot guy draft? I'm still hurting you from were, that. <laughs> it was, we were going to do a redraft Paul, here. Paul, that, that, was, oh, that was wrong. I Paulie, felt bad. Paulie, yeah. you were mean-spirited that day. I was all excited, day. thinking I got drafted. Yeah. Josh is on hold. He goes, where did I get drafted? <laughs> round one, late round one. And I go, you'll find out. And then you, you told me, he goes, what? <laughs> That's got to be the most upset you've been in five years. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, we'll come back on our play of the day. <laughs> Josh Dumel will be uh, back with us after this. Paulie was mean-spirited a couple of weeks ago. We had the hot guy draft. It's the uh, the annual hot guy draft on the Dan Patrick Show. Yeah. And uh, was it four four rounds where we all went through and, uh, you know, it was like our fantasy draft? Yeah, I think Ted Koppel went before you, Josh. I mean, it was, yeah. it was it got ugly. Yeah. <laughs> no offense. If, but it's you fleeting, call, man. But you call him and, well, it, and you say, hey, we're doing hey, a hot guy, call. right? Cause you got to call the show. You got to call the show. It would be like a, a number Didn't, one first round draft pick falling all the way to the end of the draft. Yeah, I was like I was like Johnny Manziel. No, yeah. you were Aaron Rodgers. Only worse. You're Aaron Rodgers. Okay, I'll take at I'll the take end of that. the first round. That. You don't want to take the Manziel. No. Yeah, you're you no. were Aaron Rodgers there. But if we did a, a redraft for the hot guy draft, just on the property today, Josh is the number two overall seed. Unfortunately, Kelly Slater the Ooh, number one overall seed. Josh. Yeah, he is a hot guy. <laughs> right. You could admit that. <laughs> but and I, I mean, we had Gosling. And, and also Reynolds. very hot guy. Yeah. 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 I mean, you understand, you're starting to get into you know, a hey, dangerous age bracket yeah, here. It, like I said, it's <laughs> fleeting, man. But you enjoyed it. You had a great run. I did. Okay. I did. The scene you have, what's the movie with uh, Topher Grace? Uh, Win a Date with Tad Hamilton? Yes. And you take your shirt off. Oh, yeah. That was Topher's idea, by the way. Topher really? Topher that idea right before we did really? it. Really? Like, okay, well, really? Okay. I swear to you. Okay. It was actually a funny bit because, you know, he was all awkward with his shirt, you know. How how was the fallout from that in your uh, your personal life, that movie? Uh, that was pre-Fergie, right? That was well before Fergie. That was that was 19, or that was 2002 or three or four, something like that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> hey, you know how it is. You got you to gotta, you gotta take what you can get when you're first starting out in the business. Yeah. And I, I, you know, that I, wasn't your first movie, though. That was, was my first movie. Oh wow! Yeah, first paid acting job was what? My first paid acting job was uh, All My Children. Were you a, a in New York? I was in, I was on All My Children for three years. Oh, so you're regular. Mm hmm. Um, anything dramatic, like you know, when it comes to soap opera acting as opposed to regular acting, or is it the same? Well, no, I think that you have to, everything's a little bit heightened when it comes to soaps. And that was, that was the beauty of it. For me, it was the greatest three years because I, I was so green when I first started that yeah. I, those three years on that show were great for me because, you know, you learn how to, you know, find your light, learn your lines, what, how production works. Did you ever have an a, interview? like, was there the emotional moment though? Did you ever have one of those where you, oh, like, a, lot like of a them. crying, did you cry at all? Yeah. And it got very dramatic. I remember like my, my big exit from the show was... My mother hated my new wife and wanted to kill her. And uh, we're on this bridge over this river. They built this big set. And it was a shootout. And she tried to shoot my mom. And I jumped in front. We both fell over the bridge. And Leo goes <laughs> floating down the river with his hand. Just coming Wait, up. that's how you so, ended? So Leo lives. You know, if they ever brought the show back, I could go, I could go back. So you didn't officially die. That's how. That's how I left the show with my hand, like sort of, <laughs> like a couple fingers just sticking out of the water. So similar yeah. to De Niro and Raging Bull, you're almost exactly <laughs> like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why it's, TV is now 
the place to go, isn't it? We're seeing all these shows, you know, that... Uh, yeah. Amazon, I mean, Hulu, Netflix, I mean, you name it. That's... It's hard to keep up with all the great stuff that's out. There's really a lot of great TV right now. But what happened where movies were not... I, mean, I think they're still making great movies, too. You know, it's just, it, it's changed because there's so many different platforms for people to watch it now. You know, they can, you know, people can watch it on their computers, they can watch it on their phones, they can watch it everywhere, and it's harder to drive people into the theaters. Therefore, the movies are getting much bigger. Uh, they're more tent polish, like event type movies, oftentimes remakes of something, uh, or comedies. For me, those, those those are the two things that I go see movies for usually. Uh, so, you know, the smaller movies, it's harder to get people to go see them because they can watch them in the comfort of their own private theater room. And also, binge watching too is yeah is changed television. Yeah, and and even we're not even watching television; you're watching on your uh, your tablet. Yeah. That's that's how a lot of people watch stuff. It's just you know, and your twelve son, episodes at a time. Your son's three. If yes. you said, what if he wanted to get into this business? If you said he could get into music or acting, since since your wife's a singer, uh, you know, I don't want to push him in any direction. To be honest, if he wants to do it, I guess he can do it. But I'd rather him just be a kid and try to keep him as sort of normal, as insulated from it. <laughs> For as long as I can. But how crazy is, like, could you imagine Hollywood? It can be, a, it's, it's a pretty, look at, I mean, look at poor Fritzy over there. What about him? He just looks, I mean, look at, look at you. He, he looked like he was 22 years old last time I saw him. Yeah. Yeah. Takes its toll on you. <laughs> Dan, and then, he, and then he started working for Dan. Stressing about the guests, yeah. making sure everybody all gets the pressure, here all the time. Too the much. pressures of this business. <laughs> Chews you up and it spits you out. How do I, how old do I look now? Just out of curiosity. See About twenty six. <laughs> yes, Paulie. Todd looked like Josh fifteen years ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, did sure. you ever see a young Fritzy? He looked like Mark Ruffalo on steroids. I had this from about nineteen to mid twenties. Right. I had see, a, see, had a nice head of hair. Some, I was working. Out. You never seen you anything like it. The dude, an absolute hunk. What a stud. Yeah. I mean, he would in the hot guy draft. Fritzy would have gotten drafted. He would have definitely been twenty. Whoa, look at that look guy. At that guy. Yeah. Look at that guy, huh? That seems like somebody at, completely different. Look at that. That's He's the one on the left there. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Let, look, look at, at that Fritzy. guy. Shredded. What happened? So depressing. Believe me. Dude, <laughs> there, man. Dude, you look better than Josh did when he took his shirt off and went a date with Tad Hamilton. I like that. Fritzy and Josh. Josh is like, you know, it's fleeting, man. It goes. Fritzy's like, amen, brother. I, know. I can relate to that, my man. <laughs> you, you two have been there. We've never been there before. No. Yeah, yeah. no. Congratulations. If you switch seats, you can't tell them apart. It's just really. very depressing to look at that because that looks like a totally. But different would you human rather being. not have Where that was, moment? Was that spring break, like 1992 or so. What was I, that? I, I was 19 years old. Yes, about uh, probably about 28 years ago. Okay. Uh, yeah, right but you had a moment, Fritzy. 90. Who's the dude next to you? His boyfriend. This, this kid Corbin, who, uh, you know, we... we you know, <laughs> I don't want to get into all the personal details. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. They were oiling each other up that day, I think, is what they were... <laughs> he, he would spot me. We'll leave it at that. He spotted uh, me. Fritzy did have a Nerf football moment when I, he said... <laughs> oh, we don't have time I to get into this. I don't understand why we have to figure no, it out. No, you said your pants were down to your knees and you're playing Nerf football. Kids experiment. Kids experiment. <laughs> Kids experiment. Kids get down to my knees. You and Corbin. Aren't you glad you stopped by, Josh? Kids experimented in high school and you're trying to find yourself. He's uh, Josh Dumel, one of our favorites. Thanks uh, for having me, Dan. Great to see you, buddy. We'll, uh, we'll look for the highlights there later today playing here at Pebble Beach. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.